Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dan, the voice behind that Kaito Dan, and welcome to my reaction for Nomad of Nowhere, episode 11, The Red Carpet. But before we get started, please, as always, make sure you're watching the episode first through roosterteeth.com before watching my reaction or anyone else's reaction. Please, please, please support this show. And really do so because this show has been really damn good. Uh, last week we had quite a very wild episode, uh, a very, very intense and emotional one as we got some answers at last on the Nomad's history, um, where he came from, uh, who is he exactly, and where does his magic come from, um, and obviously who that mysterious woman was from episode one as well, and it's definitely a lot of answers, uh, that we needed, especially because... Right now, we've also got the poor Nomad captured in Don Paragon's clutches. Um, so, we're going to find out the aftermath of that and see how the Nomad tries, if he can, to get out of the situation. And hopefully, we'll also see what happened to Scout as well, because uh, we didn't get to find out that uh, last time. Uh, she was with the Nomad, but considering the fact that she was helping him, I imagine she's not in a good position. So... That's going to be interesting, um, but there's only one way to find out, so let's just get straight into it. Count it down with me. Three, two, one. There we go. Took a while for me to get it. And we're starting off with Soon Toph boys. and the Dandelions. Soon we'll be home, and then we'll find rest for our weary souls. Oh, you're not going to have a very warm welcome. I really like these three. Oh god, he's celebrating. You there. What's going on? This is going to be interesting seeing Toph's reaction. Oh boy. Oh, someone's got to be happy. Yeah, of course he makes a big spectacle of it. Oh! After all this time, I've got you right where I Okay, you. personal space. So, answer me this. Oh, uh, this ain't gonna be good. What do you think of my governor's outfit? Ugh. That is, uh... You think it's too much cow pattern? Yeah, that's a lot. That's way too much cow pattern. So much more interesting if you could beg that is gaudy as all hell. <laughs> Don Paragon, by the way. Water Baron, Mayor of the Oasis, and soon to be Governor Ugh. of the Southwest. Put a shirt back on. To you. Once we're done celebrating your capture, we're headed out at first light to deliver you to El Rey. Oh, so uh, boy. Eat you. Ugh. And then there will be some changes. <laughs> Better, but still gaudy as hell. <laughs> oh, right. You're probably wondering about your friend. Don't worry, she's oh, yeah. perfectly fine, locked away in the dungeon. Oh uh, boy. I'm saving her punishment for later. She'll be a fun little trial run for my magic powers. Maybe I'll turn her into a pinata. You know, as that compass. With the gourmet candy. We'll see how many wax it takes for her to pop. Uh, though you dare mess with Scout. Oh, the puffing up your chest thing? It's adorable. But we both know you're a runner, not a fighter. True. <laughs> Oh, that ain't good. He's a scarecrow, so, uh, yeah. Get him away from the fire. Did you put the poor ones outside? Just like you asked, sir. Ass. And what is the problem? They're trampling the begonias. Trampling the begonias? Trampling the begonias. You did the right thing by coming to me. He's such a flippin' diva. Ooh. He wouldn't want our guest of honor to Stay be safe there, Nomad. Keep away Hasta from the fire. Amigo. It's Hasta Luego! Because <laughs> I'm living in Spain now, I obviously feel shoot, a bit weird shoot. with uh, the mistranslations or mispronunciations of Spanish words by uh, folks like me. <laughs> I will admit, I've, I goof up a few times myself. Is the Nomad really here? For now. We already sent word ahead, so the king's sure to roll out the red carpet. The magic red carpet. Mm, don't think it's going to so go as easy as you like. Them. And that means you'll hold up your end of our deal. <laughs> oh, what He's not. What does Nowhere would make me do that? Yeah, of course he doesn't. Red. Red Manuel. Ah, uh, you dick. 
new leader of the Dandelions. Oh! Right hand to Don Paragon and some other titles. He's you know, the new Dandelion. Li oh god, is he going to get the other three? Anyone to believe that a low life like you actually caught the nomad? <laughs> Not just he. Suck it. Your friend the Spitun girl was helping him. Oh, uh, she's not going to be happy about him scout helping. And captured both of them for the dawn. No wonder it was so quiet on the road. I thought maybe he died. <laughs> jinx our good fortune. <laughs> oh, God. Red Manuel's getting a grilling. Come on, Red Manuel has feelings. Scout would never. Oh. That's no way to talk to a superior. Oh, God. Red Manuel will finally be treated with the the guy's ego is getting way shirt. too big. You then. The streamers are supposed to go inside the ballroom. I ain't moving nothing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Suck it! Uh, yeah, yeah, do whatever makes him shut up. <laughs> Even the dog doesn't give him crap. See? Respect. <laughs> respect. As as you got as much respect as Jose Mourinho. Oh, and I'll be needing your soldiers. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. You can't do this. Don't take away the only good guys oh, in the dandelions. I gave you so many opportunities, but in the end, you just went first. Oh god, Toph's gonna flip her wig. Yeah, don't let Toph go off the handles. Oh god, how you getting out of this one then, buddy? Not really much to work with by the water. That's a lot of water he's keeping himself. Oh, careful, careful, careful! Don't burn yourself! Oh, you burned yourself! Come on, get it off, get it off, get it off! Get it off, down it! It works! Hey, does it bother you when he says stuff like. <laughs> <laughs> Deal, but I'm surprised it's taken this, this long to mention it. Huh? <gasps> oh, is he dead? Uh, the fake out. Hang on, he knocked! You thinking he's dead if he, he's the one who knocked? Oh boy. Poor buggers. Alright, come on. <gasps> Scout! Never been to a fancy ball before. Aww. I won't be going tonight, neither. Oh, Scout. Is that Toph? <gasps> it is Toph! Oh, this is going to be interesting. Please, let me speak for a moment. Oh, she's feeling guilty. too full of pride to admit I got tangled up with the wrong people. But now I'm done taking orders from Paragon. Good on you, Toph. I'm done taking orders from anyone. Nice. I've wanted the Nomad so bad, it was hard to see anything else. Mm -hmm. I wasn't proud of who the I was. The mission before her emotions and sense. I was wrong to think I didn't need you. Aww. Oh, she's, she's blushing as well. Mm. So, where are we going? Ah, it's good to see these two back together. We but that was cute as hell. Ourselves. Ooh. If I break Paragon's precious water reservoir as a uh, I think we'll Scout's not going to be on board for that. And your brains, of course. We'll be halfway to El Rey mm. by the time Paragon even realizes the Nomad is gone. Oh, we... Yeah, she wants to help the Nomad, but if you're worried about not security, giving her to El Rey, giving him to El Rey. To this off together. Toth, I was arrested for protecting the Nomad. Oh, you know God. That, right? This ain't going to be good. But that was just red light. Wasn't it? Mm. It's true then. You helped the nomad. You helped the nomad. We Easy have now. Him to begin with. But I can't save my people without him. You can still he help him. The nomad's got magic. Mm. Maybe he exactly. Can. What is he going to do? Clap and bring the water back? You're talking about one man against him. He's done enough to survive. You can easily help you out if you help him. The power to do something. It's the king. He ain't gonna help you. He's a selfish prick. Oh, and they just got everything sorted out. What about me? Oh boy. Was she gonna say I love you? Ooh. There's nobody else in all and nowhere I care about. Hello, developments. You have a hell of a way of showing it. 
Oh, but this hurts. Oh, she's locked him in. Locked him. Oh, no. Oh. And I want to help you. But this can't be the way. If El Rey was going to do something good, he'd have done it by now. True. The nomad might not be as mighty, but I think he can make a difference. For everyone. They just got things sorted out as well. Before it's... And Scout nearly confessed. I I guess she's got feelings for Toph. What are you doing? You can't just leave me here. Oh no. Such a thunder. And things were going so well. Oh man. Oh, it's these guys. Nice to see them again. Hey Barbara. The nomad will escape like he always does. Right, I mean, he's already getting there. Hey. And there he goes. <laughs> Where the flipping gaudy cow pattern thing. You just move around from town to town without oh, it's his, uh, his fears. Will only get worse. Uh, come on, buddy. You got this. Uh-oh. Come on, buddy. You got this. Huh? <gasps> Was that Melinda? It, it can't... That can't be her. It's been like a hundred years. It's just his imagination. I think. Who will you protect when I'm gone? Ah, oh, come on, buddy. Oh, here we go. The protector is gonna become the fighter. Thank you. Muchos gracias. Seriously, uh, thanks to all of you for coming out tonight. Oh, it's going to be so good when he gets his up comeuppance. Ah, this guy. <laughs> Seriously, gods, this guy. Oh, God. No. No. I want to kick things off by introducing our guest of honor. This is going to be good. Is all about Gracias, Don Manuel. <laughs> Captain Damn you, Red Manuel. You must have <laughs> Shut about down. No. Ah, this is gonna be good. Suck it! You idiots! How could you let him run away again? Na 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 na. Stop until he is here. Oh god. Oh, he's here. He's here. See? So he is. Oh god. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's what hell of a cliffhanger. Oh, things are going to get good now. Nomad is ready to fight. That's going to be interesting, though, because uh, him being a scarecrow, he's not exactly strong. <laughs> it's going to have to be down to his magic. Then again, Don Paragon's not exactly looking much of a fighter, though. He was actually pretty good with the fencing uh, earlier on this season, I remember. So uh, that's kind of worrying, actually. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But yeah, that was a really... Really great episode. Oh, Don Paragon in his moment, basking in his glory, and same for Red Manuel with his flipping ego off the chain. And obviously, I think the highlight is the stuff with Scout and Toph. Um, I was really looking forward to seeing their reunion because that's such a great pairing. They got good chemistry with each other. They they are better off with each other by their side and things were obviously going to be very interesting whenever Toph would hear about the Nomad and now Nomad getting help from Scout um but the probably like the biggest thing of that is Scout seemingly had feelings for uh, for Toph because it sounded like she was going to say I love you before she said I care about you um and you know what? Actually, I, I buy into it. I can definitely see Scout having feelings for Toph. She she adores Toph. She respects Toph. The, she definitely does care about her well-being just as much as she uh, gets uh, from care from Toph as well. Um, but yeah, that's great to see that uh, from Scout. And it, it definitely is... Fitting for her character as well, and her relationship with Toph. And from the looks of it, Toph might buy into her own kind of feelings as well, given her uh, her blushing reaction to the hug. And the fact that she does 
she does care about Scout. She does consider her a dear friend or a dear partner. And whether or not that goes into any other feelings of affections, it's probably up in the air because you... Toph is someone who doesn't really express her emotions, obviously with the Nomad stuff being her foremost focus, so it's going to be interesting to see her reaction to pretty much a near declaration of feelings from Scout, and also Scout's actions to stop the Nomad, uh, stop her getting the Nomad and taking her to El Rey, and I understand Toph's reasoning, the fact that she's obviously needing someone with magic to help out her people. Um, but she's going about it the wrong way. She, 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 she sees the strongest magical source as the only option. Even though, like Scout said, if El Rey would want to help out, he would have already done it. And I think it's safe to say that there's only one thing he cares about, and that's himself. Um... Yeah, it's going to be interesting now what happens with Scout and Toph. If, if Toph gets out in time to uh, get in the way of uh, what's going to happen next with uh, the Nomad fighting Don Paragon. I'm guessing he's going to try and find Scout um, before getting away. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Who's going to be uh, getting out of there fine enough? What's going to happen? Because we, we're going to have someone from El Rey's lot coming to uh, the Oasis because they got the early heads up. So, uh, that was such a good episode. That was a really, really great episode. I loved it. it this series has been fantastic and I'm so glad I watched it. Um, but let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments down below. And while you're at it, please hit the subscribe and bell buttons to make sure you get every video from me as they drop. And follow me on Twitter at that cut down for more and anything to do with Rooster Teeth, uh, updates on future content from yours truly, and more. But yeah, until next time, have a good day or good night, and peace out.